This whole ordeal is way too familiar for one of the officers who was shot. News 13's Tina Jensen starts our team coverage. Dean, we've learned at least one of the APD officers has been shot before in the line of duty, and he's been very close to a shooting rampage before. More than 80 officers charged into the line of fire Saturday, stepping into a death trap set by a man who wanted to kill cops. Four of them were shot. For APD officer Eric Martinez, it wasn't the first time. He was honored after being shot in the leg during a drive-by while he was on a domestic violence call in 2009. He fired back and wounded the suspect. And it wasn't his first time jumping into action during a shooting rampage. In 2010, he was the first on the scene at MCOR, arriving right after a man had gunned down six former co-workers, killing two of them. There was people on the ground, there was people screaming, he's inside. Martinez was also honored by the city for his bravery at MCOR. Saturday, he was hit in the leg by a piece of shrapnel from a bullet. He's fine now. The two other APD officers shot in the leg, Matthew Hannum and Daniel Morales, are recovering from surgery and should be fine. Bernalillo County Sheriff's Deputy Robin Hopkins was also shot in the leg. Her injuries are very serious and she's still in intensive care. Deputy Hopkins, who served in the Marines and runs marathons, is being honored on Facebook by fellow deputies and friends with an image they created for her. When she started coming in, she took time to learn everybody's names, the employees, their children, and took interest in their lives and shared her life a little bit. At Burger Boy, a diner she frequents when patrolling the East Mountains, a photo of Hopkins that usually hangs on the wall has been moved to the front counter. Every once in a while, they are there some that you bond and they're very special. Robin was one. We love her. Today, the sheriff's department said Hopkins has a long road of recovery ahead, but she won't be alone. Hopkins is getting a lot of support. Her union says on their Facebook page the amount of cards and flowers she's received in the hospital has been overwhelming. Back to you. Tina.